The city of Minneapolis is proposing an ordinance which makes sure landlords don't turn off the heat this winter. Fox 9's Ellen Gallus joins us live in Minneapolis with more on this new proposal. Ellen? Yeah, well, the city ordinance regulating heat and apartment buildings is not nearly as harsh as a Minnesota winter. But now there are some tenants and city leaders working to try and change that. Kind of makes you feel somewhat hopeless. Emily Robertson has written her landlord, written the city, even taken photos of her thermostat. 62.2 degrees. Quite a paper trail, but that will hardly keep her warm. Sleeping under two or three blankets with a hooded sweatshirt, hood pulled up, pulled up over your head, blanket over your head. She says every year her heat comes on too late and then is sometimes too low during the cold of winter. You know, pretty hard to live in Minnesota without heat coming on when it's first hit. Now, the city of Minneapolis is trying to make landlords more accountable. It just reduced the amount of time a landlord has to fix a heat-related problem, from 72 hours to 24 hours. So after someone's without heat for, for one day, um, the city can start fining that landlord. City Council Member Cam Gordon hopes that's just the beginning. He wants to raise the fine for landlords who fail to respond and have a set date for when the heat has to be on in apartment buildings across the city. Landlords will be getting the message. This after there were hundreds of complaints last winter. Fox 9 told you about this extreme case last January. 20 families, including many small children, were without heat during five of the coldest days of the year while they waited for the boiler to be fixed at their complex on 33rd Nicollet. should send a message to them that this is a clear expectation if you're going to be uh, renting your units out to somebody, you're expected to provide them with a, a safe and warm place to live in the winter. I think it's really hard. I mean, it, because the, the, the ordinances right now, they don't really back you up. Emily Robertson says the proposed changes aren't a catch-all solution, but at least they're a start. And you only have to look at a thermostat to remember small changes can be felt right away. You expect your city to protect you. Now, again, the change regarding how long a landlord has to respond to a heat-related problem has already been made. The other proposed changes could be taken up by the council as early as January. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Ellen Gallus, Fox 9 News.